If you've been wondering how you can replace butter in vegan buttercream, you're in the right place. Today I'm doing a test for the best vegan frosting substitute, so I'm taking three of the most common replacements and testing them out to see which one tastes better, which one has the best consistency for piping, which one holds their consistency over time, and which one doesn't melt easily. So are you ready for this? Let's do it. Now when it comes to vegan buttercream, I know a thing or two. So if this is your first time here, hi, I'm Natalia Lima, owner and founder of Curious Cat Bakery. And before I was feeding thousands of people the best desserts they've ever had that just happened to be vegan, I was actually just another coolest vegan, googling recipes, trying to find something that tasted good, and ending up with a lot of really bad, dry, tasteless cake. Dark times. Well, now that I've cracked the code on vegan baking, I find it my mission to not only feed you, but to also teach you how you can do the same. So if you're interested in seeing more vegan recipes and learning how to bake amazing things that definitely don't taste vegan, that's the key, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you get notified every time a new video comes out. So for today's test, I picked three of the most common vegan butter replacements for buttercream. So we have shortening, we have a widely available vegetable spread or margarine, so I chose, I can't believe it's not butter, and then finally Earth Balance, a true vegan butter replacement, and that I have gone on and on about here on the channel about how I love and it's what I use for all of my recipes at the Curious Cat Bakery. Now we're going to be testing these under three different categories to see which one is best. So the first one will be actually making these and the taste test and see how they actually taste. So let's make them. And I'm using the recipe that I've shared a few times here on the channel, it's just butter and sugar. So for the earth balance, as you've seen it previous times here on the channel, I just cream that butter until it becomes smooth, then I slowly add the sugar. It incorporates very well. Now for the taste, I like how Earth Balance is a salted vegan butter replacement, so it has a little saltiness to it, and it balances out that sweetness from buttercream that you would expect. I like that about it. It's for consistency, as long as you use sifted confectioner sugar, which I'm using for all three examples, it comes out smooth and it's a great texture as well. Second, we have the shortening. So with shortening, it took a lot less sugar to get to the right consistency, and as expected, the taste is affected by that. You can definitely still taste a little oily, something funky is going on back here that I can't really identify, and so I'm adding some vanilla to make it actually enjoyable, dare I say, and that makes it a little better, though the consistency, I have to say, it doesn't really melt in your mouth. There's still some kind of aftertaste some kind of funky consistency that's happening here that's not for me now finally we have the i can't believe it's not butter now as you can see it is a much softer replacement than earth balance and because of that it took a lot more sugar to get to the right consistency i'm talking four times as much as it did for the shortening and as a result it was a lot 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 sweeter i'm talking clenched teeth emoji here that's not for me, but hey, if you are into sugar comas, I guess this is for you. But all of these three, taste-wise, are edible. So I would go Earth Balance. So now that we've done the taste test and we know what all of them taste like, we're going to move on to the next step, and that is figuring out which one has the best consistency. For this test, I'm going to be using a pastry bag and an open star tip, and we're just going to be piping some cupcake frosting here, simple stuff just to see how that buttercream comes out of the pastry bag, how hard is it to squeeze it out, how it holds its shape once it's piped. So let's do this. Now I have to say that I was pleasantly surprised by all three of them. For the Earth Balance, again, I use it all the time. I know that it pipes beautifully as long as you have the right consistency. Now for the shortening, I was expecting it to be harder to push it out of the bag but it actually went on really smoothly as well. And the I can't believe it's not butter, I was thinking was just going to fall apart as soon as it hit the cupcake. But it held its shape really, really well. All three went in super smoothly, no air bubbles, no problem. Everyone kept their shape. Everyone gets a point on this one. The next test is going to be endurance. So if you're gonna have cupcakes, you're probably gonna have them out at a party, or if you're having buttercream in a cake, you're gonna have them in a birthday cake. You're gonna be having them out of the fridge for a long period of time, maybe three, four hours. So for this test, I'm gonna be leaving them indoors at room temperature for three hours to see how they hold up. While we wait those three hours for those cupcakes, 
I mentioned before that at a party you might have some cupcakes out, you might have a cake out. Now, some people prefer cupcakes over one big cake for a party. Where do you stand on this? I mean, if you go with cupcakes, you definitely get more frosting. So there's that. But tell me in the comments below, how do you feel about this? Do you go with several cupcakes or one big cake for a celebration? Okay, so three hours are up, let's check in on our cupcakes. As you can see, all three of them kept their shape, that's good. But once you touch them, ugh. The I can't believe it's not butter dried out completely. All the moisture is gone. This thing is rock hard. Now for the earth balance, it dried out a little bit, but I can still feel some moisture in there. The shortening one was actually the one that held on to its moisture the best, so point for shortening, I guess. So now for the final test, we have the heat test. Now if you're having a birthday party or some kind of thing outside, these guys are gonna be exposed to the sun. That's just what happened. So let's put them out in the sun outside today. It's a beautiful, gorgeous winter day here in Florida and it's about 79 degrees. So we're gonna be putting them out in the sun and see how they fare for one hour. Okay, one hour and Ooh, Earth Balance does not look good. He's the only one that melted a little bit and it's kind of getting sloppy on one side. What's happening here? Now, I can't believe it's not butter. Still super dry, no moisture at all, so it didn't move. It's like a 60s hairstyle up in here, not moving at all. And then finally, the shortening. Oh yeah, we're still very, very moist. Still hold on to its shape, but the moment that I touch it, ugh, this thing is falling apart. So for this one, I'm not sure anyone gets a point. So at the end of all of that, we don't have a clear winner. What a disappointment. But hey, now you know which one is best depending on your circumstances. If your focus is on taste, then Earth Balance might be the one for you. Now, if you know you're gonna be outside, huh, I guess pick your poison. With Earth Balance, you might lose a little bit of its shape, but it holds on to its moisture. Oh, I can't believe it's not butter, will completely lose its moisture, but hey, it will look good on a table and a picture. Meanwhile, the shortening one will look good on a picture, but the moment you touch it, oh, it's melting all over the place. Now, if you stuck around through all these tests and made it this far, I think it's pretty safe to say that you've been playing around with vegan baking. Maybe you've been at it for a while, maybe you're new to it. Either way, you might be interested in this guide that I've put together, my top 10 tips for successful vegan baking. And it breaks down all my best tips that I wish somebody had given me when I was just getting started. You can get that completely free. I'll put the link in the description below. You just follow it, put in your email, it gets delivered straight to your inbox. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. I will see you guys here next Tuesday at 11 a.m. with a new video. Until then, you might want to watch this video where I talk about some of the different reasons why your vegan buttercream might be melting and do some troubleshooting. Or this one where I give you two recipes for alcohol-infused 21 and up only vegan cupcakes. I'll see you then. Stay curious.